great to have you here. Good Thanks. to see you, Allie. Thank uh, you. Thanks for having me. What was it like playing in these conditions out here? Well, as I was sitting here, I was thinking, I was like, I'm actually really happy that I finished my day because I think it just picked up a, a little bit, the wind. Um, but yeah, obviously we had the one rain delay, but it was it was really quick. It was about 20 minutes, so um, nothing to complain about there. And um, honestly, just being here in Charleston, it's hard to complain about anything, especially with the new stadium, the new grounds. It's, um, it's an awesome venue, awesome tournament, and the people are amazing. Do you consider this now like a home event for you? I know we talk about Emma, we talk about Shelby, you know, they're born and raised here, no, but you have a theirs. house here now. It's theirs. I wasn't <laughs> born here. Um, I didn't grow up here. Um, I have spent a lot of time in the low country. Um, I grew up uh, training in Hilton Head, which is obviously close by, but Charleston is theirs. I will not st step on their feet, but um, I do absolutely love it. My husband, I, I'm like, how many times are you gonna say you love Charleston in one day here? <laughs> but um, it's a really special place, and um, we're really grateful to have a place here and just um, be a part of the community when we're able to. So what do you think of the of the renovations? What's the lounge like inside? <laughs> I mean, it, it is in, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, Ben, put his heart and soul into the whole um, to the whole grounds here. I think the stadium's unbelievable. Locker rooms are wonderful. They have a golf simulator upstairs, which I actually heard Emma talking about earlier that she yeah. was whacking them around <laughs> earlier. But um, I think more than that, too, is just the grounds. They have a few area for people to hang out, drink, and um, you know, have good food. And I think that makes for a great experience uh, all around. So as somebody who loves Charleston, what, what are your go-to restaurants here? Oh, okay, number one is Zero George, hands down. Good luck trying to get a reservation there. It's not Do you have happen. any pull? <laughs> I have zero pull, okay. but maybe if they see this, we can get something. <laughs> I think my husband booked for like Thursday at like five o'clock a month ago. So This Thursday? Um, this Thursday, okay. uh, yeah, which hopefully I won't be able to make it. I'll be playing. Um, but Zero George is hands down our favorite experience here. Um, Shane New is delicious food. And Darling Oyster Bar in King Street is my go-to. Um, I love oysters, and um, the atmosphere is great there. All right, so is that like an every night thing during this tournament that you're doing that, or? No, I do resort to Uber Eats, unfortunately, at times as well. Um, I can't be doing that every night. <laughs> <laughs> we go big in our household, so I can't do that. All right, that, that, that's fair enough. Uh, we're on the green clay here, making the transition, you know, to, to the European clay court season. What do you like best about playing on this surface? <laughs> um, we're going to be here all night. Let me think about it. <laughs> um, no, um, I think green clay is a, is a tough uh, surface. I think uh, I'm... I actually enjoy playing on the red clay. I feel like it's a little bit more easy to move on it. Um, they're, they're tough conditions, and I know every day is going to be a battle. I actually haven't got to practice on it that much. A lot of us, you know, just came from Miami. So, um, you know, it's not necessarily always going to be pretty, but um, that's part of just getting accustomed to the new surface. And um, I think what I like most about it is that it is going to be a battle. And, you know, uh, that's, that's all I can count on each day. And I think that's the best part about uh, honestly, just tennis in general. Absolutely. I, I was talking to some of the players about their journeys here from Miami and some real struggles. Yeah. W what did you encounter? Yeah, we, we lucked out. We did choose, we chose to drive. So the whole way. Wow. We did, yeah, it's about six and a half hours um, from where we are in Florida. And um, we hit some traffic, but can't complain. So it was easy. Okay. Yeah. Your, your Instagram profile, the avatar, what is that? <laughs> that is a desperate ape wife. Okay, so is that an <laughs> NFT? That's an NFT. And, and for those that who was, are um, not sure about that whole thing, explain. A non-fungible token. <laughs> um, there's only one of them in existence, and um, I have the honor of owning her. My husband bought it for me for Christmas. It was very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> he, he bought that for you? <laughs> yes, and... Um, yeah, honestly, we've gotten a little bit more into like the, cri the crypto side of things. I mean, my, my husband is uh, a little bit of a techie uh, nerd, and so um, he makes life a lot of fun, and that's just one avenue that he's kind of introduced me to. I am not the brains behind it, but um, we can maybe sit down over coffee and we can try to get, you get know, it. Yeah. I can try to tell you exactly what it is. Listen, Allie, after you win your next match, you come yes. right back up here. We'll keep the conversation rolling. Okay, that's perfect. Right, I'll go home, good. I'll learn some more, and then I'll come back. <laughs> there you go.